What's going on everyone? Donovan here. Welcome back to the show. Kind of getting on the roll here, back to work. Um, but I wanted today to talk about uh, another subject, a video thought blog. I want to talk to you about maybe something you're familiar with, uh, a term you're familiar with, strengthening your core. Um, of course, you know, we're, we're about yeah, we're about four months into the new year now. Uh, March is, yeah, March is almost over, and April will be here soon, springtime. But um, four months into the new year, and and we're still. Some of you aren't, but some of us are still just kind of going through the motions of, hey, what what's going to happen this year, God willing? Uh, what are my goals? What are my dreams? What are some things I'd like to see happen this year uh, and the steps, the challenges to get there. And uh, I think when I think about that, we all think of, uh, can think of exercising like, oh, I gotta, I gotta lose the gut. I gotta get, get, get some packs here. I gotta get some muscle on. Or I gotta lose weight. Um, I gotta get toned. I gotta get stronger. I gotta, uh, just be quicker at so many things that you think about with your body that you want to do and a lot of term a lot of things you hear about that is strengthening your core so I want to talk about that today that you know how can you strengthen your core I am not an exercise uh, extraordinaire professional or anything like that but I do want to share some points maybe you can think about today in strengthening your core now, when I say that, I'm talking about three things. One is the obvious, physically, you know, just taking care of yourself physically because there's a young lady by the name of Lisa Nichols that said something that really stood out to me is that um, your body is your vehicle. It's the vehicle you, it's the ride you got is what you have to take that ride through life and it is it is you need all the parts you need the uh, the headlights <laughs> you need the uh, the bumper you need everything on your body to be working uh, in full capacity and strengthening your core physically when I think about that physically I think about six pack ten pack twelve pack whatever Think about really your core, your stomach, and just a lot of things go into the stomach, a lot of things come out the stomach, um, and you want to strengthen that because your midsection is powerful. You think about it, your midsection is really the mid part of your body, and think about it, strengthening your core is kind of where everything comes out of everything physically I mean think about your organs and everything your heart is all there so strengthening your core strengthening your your body down to those abs that gut you know it is powerful so I think that's how you can strengthen your core number one strengthening another core that I don't think we think about we we neglect a lot besides our physical body is our core mentally our minds is that this year is powerful and what you think how you think about things is how you go through life and if you're stuck in a certain way of thinking that doesn't help you get to how you want to live next you got to go through a transformation of getting rid of the old that hinders you and take on the new that empowers you get rid of the old that hinders you take on a new that empowers you because God can't use old stuff old stuff that you hold on to in the past past trauma hurts past luggage you can't go into a new place with old luggage you got to go in there with some new luggage that looks presentable, some good decent clothes. You can't go into things 
with a lot of stuff on your mind that hinders you. So strengthening your core, your mind, I think it's the number two core of your body you need to go after. Number three, and the reason why this is number three is because I, I know a lot of people may think, oh, this is number one, but I think it's, I think it's number three because your emotions, emotionally strengthening your core is different from strengthening your core mentally. Mentally, you're talking about logic, you're talking about reasoning, you're talking about really concrete ideas, concrete uh, beliefs to help move you through life. Emotions is a different ball game. Emotions go up and down, up and down. They go. <laughs> emotions can be crazy and emotions can stick to you and derail you so many ways. It's good to have them, but not good to let them have you. And so with emotions, strengthening your core emotionally is really weighing through your emotions. Okay, am I angry? Yes, I'm angry. How am I going to respond with that anger to certain situations? Am I sad? Do I feel depressed? Yes, I'm sad. I feel depressed. Okay, how am I going to respond to the situation despite how I feel? And I think that's where having a, a strong core mentally helps you emotionally to wade through those things that you get that you get a victory that you push through and you keep moving that's three things three cores i think of, of a of a person that we all need to work on we need to work on our physical we need to work on our mental and definitely our emotions because our emotions like i said can it can be a roller coaster and you got to be strong enough to hope to, to ride the roller coaster the the twists and turns the heels and keep a straight face <laughs> keep a keep a stable a, a, a steady mind through it and to sum it up guys when you think about it let's think about it physically uh, mentally and emotionally you got to balance those things physically when you balance things, you can't just work on your abs. You can't just work on your legs. You can't just work on your back. You can't just work on your arms, your wrists, your hands. You can't just work on one thing. You need to work on, on them all. Because even though you work on your, your gut, your abs section, your core, that's the midsection. What about the legs? The legs hold up your body. You know, what about... Um, your arms, your arms help you carry things. You know, what about your hands, your wrists? They help you navigate things. Um, what about your eyes? You know, you got to do things to help you to see clearly. Um, so, so many things, physically, you have to keep a balance. It can't just be one thing. And mentally, I mean... The balance of being spiritual, the balance of having morals and strong beliefs, the balance of having strong convictions, and weighing through those things in your emotions, because you will go through things, you will go through points of life where you, you felt one way, and maturity and, and growth in different situations bring you to another conclusion. And so it's important to mentally just exercise those things and emotionally get through the feelings get through the the hurt get through the pain of things not saying they come easy but get through them because there's so much on the other side well, guys that's my video thought blog for today just reminding you reminding myself strengthen your core physically mentally and emotionally keep balancing them out Keep balancing them out so that you can walk on clear paths. Down and out. Peace.